to initialize expressway typescript navigate to your desired folder and run this npm in it and because here i want the default option so i'm also going to use this dash y and if we press enter it is going to initialize our project now we can open our project inside our code editor then we have to install this package called ts node dip which will help us to work with typescript and node.js project because we need this only inside our dev environment here we are going to install it as the dev dependency once we install it we have to set up our dev script for that we can come inside our scripts and add this dev as the key and all these values for this dev at first here we have this tsnd which stands for ts no dev and then we are going to use all of these options the very first option will restart your server whenever you are going to make any changes inside your file then the second option is going to format your document the third option will only transpile our code if we are in the dev environment and this is going to make everything faster at the end we have to pass the path to our entry file which is going to be src folder index.ts and all these things are up to you you can change the folder name or file name if you want to then we just have to add this tsconfig.json and we have to add all these compiler options and all of these things again they are customizable you can add your new option or remove the old option if you want to at first here i have this module common js because at the end i'm going to transpile all those import export to those required keywords then we are going to transpile our code to es 2016 then we don't want any implicit any and we want to remove all the comments whenever we are going to transpile our code we want the strict type checking we will accept type declaration file from different modules like node modules folder also if we want to use modules where we will not have the typescript file we will use that with this option and we'll also check casing for our file names now we can save this tsconfig.json, create new src folder and inside here you can create your index.ts and here you can add your express server but for that let's install express npm install express once you install express you have to also install the type declaration files and we want them inside our dev environment only here i'm installing types for express types for node and the typescript itself inside our dev environment once we have this we can simply create our express server so this is our basic express server where we are going to listen to this port 8000 and we'll send this h1 if we got request to this home route now we can simply use this npm run dev and this tsnd will start your server and now if we visit our local host colon 8000 you will see something like this and now if we made any changes and save the file then our server is going to restart automatically and now if we reload our page you can see the change so that's the basic setup for our dev environment what if you want to use some path alias for example if your project is large then to import those files you have to use all these syntax but now what if you want to remove all those dots and slashes for that you can use this package called tsconfig paths let's install it inside our project run this command but this time again we want this to inside our dev environment so i'm going to use this dash d once it is installed we can come inside our package.json we have to first of all register that path inside our tsnd command for that we have to add this dash r tsconfig dash path slash register now once we have this we also have to make changes inside our tsconfig.json so here we have this root directory, output directory, base URL and the paths that we are going to use. So we'll use this hash symbol to denote this src folder which is going to be our root directory. And now we can simply save this file. To test this thing we can create new folders inside our src. So for that here I have few folders and files. Now I'm going to export something from inside this user.ts from inside this model and now I want to import it inside this controller user index.ts from here i'm creating this object called user and we are exporting it as the default to import this inside our user index.ts we can simply use this import user from has model slash user and now we will log this user to the console now to run this file i can simply import that file inside my root file index.ts so that's my import statement Let's save this file, open our terminal and let's use this npm run dev. 
and as you can see here we have the console message now even though it looks fine there is a little problem let me show you that inside our package.json let's set up our build command so the command name will be build and here you can simply run this tsc let's save this open your terminal npm run build if you build your project then here you will have your dist index.js and all these things but the problem that we have right now here is this import or the file path this has javascript doesn't understand anything about this has so whenever we are going to compile our typescript file we have to change this to our actual path so for that we can use this package called tsc alias let's copy the command and let's install it inside our project and again we want this as the deb dependency so we'll use this dash d as well now once you have this you can simply come inside your dev command and you can use your and tsc dash alias and you can simply save your file and if you run your npm run build command then everything is now changed you can see the path is just changed from that hash to this dot slash same thing will be true if you visit other routes you can see this is the actual path for this user model so that's how you can initialize your express and typescript project i hope you like this video and learn something new if this is the case then don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video